Welcome, everybody. When you are sick, you go to the hospital to get better. But what if the hospital actually makes you sicker or even kills you? My name is Natasha Schneiders, and I want to tell a story about something that happened when I worked in the hospital. The story is about a little 10-year-old girl, healthy little 10-year-old girl, who went to hospital for tonsillectomy. Normally, this is a low-risk, standard, and routine medical procedure. But after surgery, this girl complained of intense pain in her throat, and she was diagnosed with a flesh-eating bacteria. Within hours after surgery, this infection destroys the healthy tissue in her throat, and without medical treatment, this infection could have killed her. When I heard the story, I was shocked that this li little girl almost died from a healthcare associated infection. And the worst thing is that this infection is caused by healthcare professionals who fail to perform good hand hygiene. This is unacceptable in a country that has one of the best healthcare systems worldwide. This does not only happen to little girls. It can happen to when you go to the hospital to get a knee surgery, or when you get your appendix removed. Or think about the last time you went to hospital. Are you sure that the physician washed his hands? And what if he didn't? With this little girl, almost 75,000 patients in the Netherlands are affected with healthcare-associated infections each year. These infections result in longer hospital stays and are accounting for an increase in healthcare costs of more than 300 million euros a year. In this case, the most simple and most effective measure to prevent healthcare-associated infection is hand hygiene. But recent studies show that m over 80% of all healthcare professionals fail to perform good hand hygiene. I need to change this. And now you're probably thinking, why should a young girl, how she, can she do this? Well, I've heard that before. Because I rem remember a moment after, gra after graduation, my parents were so proud and I told everyone that I want to save lives and I want to change healthcare. But my professor told me I was way too ambitious. But I'm not. I believe that I can improve healthcare. I choose to work for an IT organization where I can use my scientific and medical knowledge to successfully implement innovative IT applications to improve healthcare. In this slide, I want to contribute to better quality, affordable and accessible care. I believe that I can improve quality of care by developing a hand hygiene monitor system that stimulates healthcare professionals to improve their hand hygiene. In order to achieve this, I interviewed physicians and I asked them, why do you wash your hands? And a physician said, I only wash my hands to make sure that the sandwich I eat is free of bacteria derived from patients. We need to educate these healthcare professionals using an interactive e-learning program that creates awareness among these healthcare professionals. And the most other caregivers said, I simply forgot to wash my hands. So we need to develop a badge that provides a reminder when a caregiver forgot a required hand washing event. And the same badge register hand hygiene to improve hand hygiene policy. When developing this system, we make use of already existing technologies and sensors and the available Wi-Fi network in the hospital. Therefore, we can contribute to the improvement of hand, hy hand hygiene with low investments and in a short amount of time. This means that the first lives in the Netherlands can be saved within one year from now. But that's not enough. 
I want to change healthcare by improving hand hygiene worldwide. Therefore, I need your help. I'm not yet a managing director of a, a big law firm or a director of a big bank. I'm just a young woman. But at one day, I want to stand in your shoes. I want to be in a position that I can actually change healthcare. But for now, I would like to ask you to connect me with people or organization in the healthcare sector to help me make my solution a success. Because when my solution is a success, it can improve hand hygiene, which result in higher quality of care, shorter hospital stays, a reduction in healthcare costs, and even in reduced mortality. And besides, I don't want you to leave the hospital with any other disease they initially arrived with. Thank you.